Good evening. I'm Storm Team 8 Meteorologist Erica Martin with an update on your weather on WXEdge.com. And you guys know our executive producer of SportsEdge.com, Kel Staten. He uh, is going to go ahead and update us a little bit on what's going on for the big game on Sunday. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the weather. I'm going to pick Kelsey's brain, maybe get some good ideas on who might be winning, scoring, all that good stuff. All right, let's get started. So let's get started here with this is our GFS model, courtesy of Meteostar. Now, Kels, uh, this is a model that indicates the first half of Sunday. So we can see some very light precipitation moving through. And if you look there, you can see this dotted line in the blue. It's the 540 line. It, uh, is a, it indicates the difference between whether precip would be rain and snow. So it looks like we could see some light mix earlier on in the day so what what are your thoughts there i think uh i think rain definitely affects the game i think it favors the seahawks who play in seattle a lot of rain up in seattle so right I think that's going to be kind of their weather that they've played in all year at home and they've been great at home and the seahawks also have the better defense of the two teams and if the weather is bad rain any kind of precipitation i think favors the seahawks interesting and then we'll talk about temperatures in just one moment to see how that could affect the game as well right. all right so next model here this is the second half of sunday also courtesy of meteo star notice that we are just picking up on really clearing there and maybe a couple of uh lingering uh sprinkles but everything seems to be mainly clear 540 line uh south and so conditions look like they're improving there so second half of the day game time is what uh, game time's at 6.30. Okay. So I think uh, if you're talking about, you know, rain moving in eventually during the game, I think one thing I think is uh, the Broncos defensively have played much better these past few weeks okay. in the tough conditions. Right. So I think they have gotten used to it. So I think maybe people that think the Seahawks are going to win because of the weather conditions could be wrong. Right. Well, interesting. You know, I have this theory, and we'll talk about it quickly. Maybe you can give me some insights. I think the Denver Broncos are going to win, and that's simply because I think they have better lung capacity, and uh, it's because that they're at higher altitude. So I think that they can take the – they're a little bit more athletic. Do you think that I'm, I'm kind of hitting on something? Or I think that could be a factor. I think you take a look at the fact that it's tough for teams to go to Denver and win. Right. Obviously. Right, so, because of the altitude. Exactly. And athletes have been known to train in hyperbaric chambers and stuff like that, get their oxygen levels up and – I think you could be on something there. Okay, I don't know. Uh, we're, this is not. This is yeah. nothing really uh, scientific. We're just talking about the the difference on pretty much the uh, athleticism of these guys. So let's go to our next model here, and this is also Meteo Star, but this is the NAM model, the North American model, and this we're picking up on. This is overnight Saturday into Sunday, also picking up on some light precip. You can see it's not very organized, Kels, and once again that dotted blue line, the 540 line, is well north of the state uh, of uh, East Rutherford, New Jersey. So that is indicating that there's a wintry mix there. So what are we talking about even though temperatures seem to be warmer we're not there yet but even though temperatures seem to be warmer how are you feeling about that light wintry mix overnight saturday into sunday I'm, i don't think that'll affect the game at all okay. i think um you know if it was going to be colder if it was going to be snowing i think like i said i think the seahawks would be what better in worse weather right so i think your prediction might come true hey <laughs> because of the fact that it's going to be nice weather for football right for, especially for january or february or whatever it's going to be right on sunday right but, uh, february <laughs> forget what day it is right now, he works too much yeah, but, <laughs> he needs a vacation all right I let's do. put that I out there <laughs> all right the next model here uh we're talking we're going to quickly go through these um this is wrap weather model also showing some light precip you can actually see a really good uh, image of that band of precip moving across um, the eastern portion of the state really I would talk about the tri-state area and again Kels it seems to be clearing and this model is courtesy of uh, Unices and also showing that really a uh, light band of moisture moving through New Jersey so you can see here it's not a terrible situation um, and most of it really seems to be clearing so the next question is what about those temperatures I bumped this down a little bit I initially had a at 45 on Sunday, went with 43. I do think models are trending a little bit cooler, so a uh, two degree difference there, not major, but that's pretty warm considering how cold we've been. Yeah, I think when they planned the Super Bowl in the beginning, I don't didn't think that they thought that it would be 42 degrees. Right. Uh, yeah. The the forecast was actually colder. Right. Right. Exactly. So. You know, I think uh, I think everyone's going to be happy. I think certainly the fans at the game will be happy that it's going to be 42. But I think people watching on TV maybe would have liked to have seen snow. Maybe would have liked to have seen you know the conditions played more of a factor in the game. Interesting. So they think. So what about you? What would you have preferred? Um, I would have preferred to see that. I would have liked to see a Super Bowl because Super Bowls. But it could have been canceled if that was the case. 
I think I don't think it would have been canceled unless right. it was really bad. Okay. You know, unless there were conditions like we saw it uh, initially, the, where the models were coming out a little bit more aggressive. Right. Exactly. Okay. So um, you know, I think the fact that it's going to be a nice game is going to play nice weather is going to play more into what we've seen before. Right. Where Super Bowls have always been played in dome stadiums and places with nice weather. We've seen Super Bowls in 40 degrees before, so it's not going to be as unique as it would have been if it was snowing, if it was freezing outside. But still two really great teams, really unique teams. Let's talk about why you prefer. What do you, tell me what your thoughts are. I, I'm with you. I, 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 I think okay. the Broncos are going to win for different reasons. Right. I think it's Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. I'm taking I love Peyton, Peyton Manning. Manning. <laughs> One of the greats. He's just so smart. Yeah. I, you either hate him or love him. Right. So I love Peyton Manning, too. I like the Seahawks. I think both teams, I think it's going to be a great game. Both teams are two great teams, probably the two best teams in football. Okay. So it's going to be a really interesting game. Close game. I think the Broncos win. In a tight one. Interesting. Well, I actually think they're going to win by a lot. You do? I'm like 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Right? I think I think it's going. I think Peyton Manning's going to do what he has to do. But okay. But I am. I'm sorry. But I'm a New England Patriots fan, so <laughs> I can't really say. But that's those are just my thoughts. But really quickly, um, you touched on something. Even though conditions are going to be clearing out there, what about the the type of terrain? I'm not sure. What do they play on? Uh, well, this will be just regular grass. Okay. Uh, field so I think uh, I think the field conditions will be fine I think the fact that you know it's the Super Bowl um, there'll be great crews out there working on it so they're not going to let the field conditions play into the game right on all right so Kels and I do think that the Denver Broncos are going to win he thinks by about two yeah I would say I'm going to say three field goal field <laughs> three goal. okay um, I think 10 to 12 so um, that's I'm just feeling a double digit around there and I definitely think that Peyton Manning is going to bring it yeah, I think he's going to bring it to. I can't see Russell Wilson beat, beating Peyton Manning. In not, the Super Bowl. No, not intellectually. He, Peyton Manning is just a super no. bright person. He's yeah. just really bright. He knows what he's doing out and there. And mind football, over yeah. matter always. All the time. All the time. Okay, so Kelsey, an executive producer of SportsEdge.com, WXEdge.com. This is where you get your weather updates, your astronomy updates, your sports updates, um, who we think is going to win for the Super Bowl. But of course, don't, don't take us, you know, don't take our word for it. I would take it for the main. Oh, would confident. you really? I'm confident. <laughs> I don't think we can say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, WXX.com, Kel State and Eric Martin, we will see you next time. Next time. Bye. <laughs>